So for last but not least question, uh, you have to create the new vSAN cluster. And I would say that's pretty easy for who knows that vSAN cluster structure and vSAN storage. And also in this lab, we want to do some troubleshooting regarding what you have inside that actually ESXi host and cluster during that, I would say, video and lab. Let me maximize that. First of all, inside that exam, maybe, I don't know, you opened it something like region A vSphere client for a vCenter and you can see there is nothing. Normally, when you open the browser, and browse at region A, for example, vCenter, the username and password saved there. But if you face the things, don't worry, because before you start your exam, there is an, some information which is you have to read them really carefully. And inside them, you can find the username and password, actually, for the lab, for, for ESXi host, for uh, the windows, and etc. No, and here will be like the other actually credential like administrator at vsphere.local and the password it remember one explanation mark and after that simply you can log in into the vCenter and browse like that host and clusters and here, for example, I picked that ESXi 4, 5, and 6 for the new purpose of, of that question. You can use, like, I don't know, the name convention, like new cluster, and simply I said 2 in the end. I don't want to enable anything here already and say finish. The cluster is there and in the whole things you don't have anything. You can came back over the top, just select the three of ESXi hosts, right click and say move to. Yes, I want to move them where? In cluster comp. 02 and after that they will be there so let me do something again here i select all and on a maintenance mode said exit maintenance mode yes i really quick double check that everything i have on e6 i want as you can see here no data store have been configured. So that's normal, it's okay. VM kernel adapter, as you know, we need that VM kernel adapter for vSAN cluster. We don't have it. What I have to do is create that VM kernel port, which is can support vSAN. Because of that, you need that specific IP address. And normally in the lab, they provide you that all information, which is you need, but somehow I grab that IP address, which is the last use on e 6 number three on the other cluster. And that's an NVSAN. Let me expand that IP settings. I grab that like 53. I use that 54 for that. And the default gateway will be on the same subnet in the end with one. So I select that. Add networking, VM kernel port, which is you can use also for, for the everything and vSAN. Next, browse, vSAN, OK, next again. You have to choose that vSAN traffic for that enable services and say next. If they ask you for a specific MTU size, you can select here like in custom and after that change that to the whatever jumbo frame or the normal one by the way i use a static ip address let's say paste 
and the subnet was slash 24 it means 255.255.255.0 and I don't want to use that which is inherited from the parent I want to use that in the end one you say next and finish you have to do that also on the next one here add networking next browse resend next again resend let it like default static IP address paste for the last one we use at 54 here is 55 oh, 55 and again subnet mask and override the gateway address paste and one in the end next finish just make sure that's create here yep we have it here like 55 you can see in the end we have that all like 55 here we have that all like 54 no 54 it must be it 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 is mess what i did here let me exchange that quickly because the lab will be broken because of ip duplicate yeah and 54 okay so sorry guys because that mistake let me double check the air yeah i i, I know yeah. it was happened by me sorry and so let it there like that and here again add networking and browse and resend again next and again resend next and here you have to paste that ip address at 54 5 and 56 and 255 255 255 0 i want to overwrite that to in the last octet must be one next and finish so and really you have to be careful to actually double check that all IP configuration here for example like you don't mess anything at all so they are fine or yeah we know that we know that so and here you have everything on board already just double check again regarding that VM kernel adapter you have that VMK zero as in a default so that's for management things that's for storage for SCSI storage that's and for vMotion that's enabled by TCP IP stack vMotion and here also you have that vSAN so and on the second one yes same and third one yes same in a virtual switch you will have everything here good i back to the top don't worry about that in, in during that exam if you face that also you can ignore that it's okay they will be received the message like you can ignore that i come back to the vsan really quickly configure vsan and i want to use that single site cluster pretty easy i don't want to enable anything at all on it again straightforward and i want to claim the disk but there is an item says configuration not recommended some hosts are claiming less disk than the other ding ding that's really important you have to make sure you select the same amount of disk which is you have on the all hosts it's not possible you use for example that eight or 10 disks on one host and you use the, the less amount of disk on the other host. Okay, so let us double check. I will quickly zoom out there. And here, I sorted by group, by host. And you can see here that E604 has one, two, three, four, five, six disks there. Ah, that's here. We have only three disks here. Okay, what's the uh, total capacity? 12, 12, 6. And for a 6 gigabyte, that use as a cache tier. And for a 12, that use for a capacity tier. I will do the same also for E604 and say, hey, 
don't claim that place also don't claim that there don't claim and here i have only one six gigabyte for cache and 212 for capacity and after that you can see here the triangle warning regarding the disk is gone already let's hit next and finish and see what happened i will pause the video for it because maybe it it take long time because of creation of vSAN and after that I will be back again so uh, it's look good now uh, I want to double check that configuration I don't want to miss anything and here as you know if you want to enable that vSAN uh, data store you want to create that uh, while there is an vSphere HA is enabled so it's not possible for a reason you have to disable first of all that vSphere HA and back to again configure here on services and enable that vSAN cluster but after a while when it's done you can come back to that HA configuration and edit that and enable actually that vSphere HA and I want to say I don't want to do anything at all here just when something happened restart the vm and say okay let's see what happened now it's on so and perfect and let me enable the drs here again edit enable the drs fully automate don't touch anything and say okay perfect and let me double check that vsan data store yep that's already there here we have four, five, six A, and here that host is one, two, three. They are connected to that different vSAN cluster and vSAN data store. Let me refresh that. And after that, I want to simply try to create dummy virtual machine. For example, here I want to say that cloud HVA and where on a region A on a cluster 2 for example on vSAN data store 1 it must be somehow yes and Linux machine and scroll down with some CentOS version 8 for example and just click on next 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 because that's an a dummy virtual machine let me maximize that what happened there that's already created there okay thanks a lot that's perfect where is that now that's on region a comp 02 and e6 number four uh, Double check that HA configuration, for example, migrate that resource from, I have to zoom out here again and go for a next. Yep, next. Let me reset that because of view and say finish. Let's see, is that, yes, that's migrating already on E6 and number five and VMs, yes, that's here. And that's really important if you want to do something like create vSAN cluster, you have to pay attention to HA configuration first of all. If that HA is enabled already, you have to disable that HA. It doesn't matter if, if the DRS is there or not, but you have to disable that HA first of all, and then back to the services like vSAN and enable that vSAN configuration. You know? And after that, you can enable that HA back again. It's okay, never mind. You know, that would be really easy. And that's all for a moment. I hope you enjoyed that uh, all videos already. I create around 17 questions, which is uh, maybe that can help you during that VCAP deploy exam for a data center visualization. And I don't know, during that 17 exam, uh, really, 
uh, you enjoy that or not but somehow please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell because uh, the notification will be turned on for you for a new videos which is I created and if you have any idea you can simply put that down in a comment below and I will be really happy to hear your idea I would say please stay with me for a next uh, series of video I will be actually take a rest a little bit and after that maybe I goes forward with some additional videos for a VCAP exam or maybe I goes for two different uh, training paths regarding uh, VMware Cloud Director or VMware vCloud Director or regarding that VMware uh, VCP which is stand for uh, actually uh, certified professional on a data center visualization for a VMware and let's see what happened for the next but please stay with me